Hello my loves, it's Monica and welcome back to a new vlog. I just wrapped up with work for the evening and I my big plan for tonight is make dinner, uh, catch up on a lot of like life stuff that I have to catch up on, specifically Karitathon stuff and Magical Girl Society stuff and I also desperately, desperately, desperately need to clean my room. <laughs> I feel like I've been in a little bit of a mental funk recently and my room certainly reflects that. It's a little bit of a disaster. Um, so my goal is to clean it, finally put away everything that I've been putting off, putting away for a couple of weeks now um, and just have a space where I feel like my mind can function better than it currently is because yeah, definitely a messy space does not help my brain. Also really excited because I am going to be starting a new book in this video, but before I talk about that, I want to give a big thank you to this video's sponsor, which is Karma. Karma is a mobile app and Google Chrome extension that ensures you never miss a price drop or a coupon code. To get started with Karma, download the Chrome extension, which I've linked down below. Then, as you're browsing online at any of your favorite stores, you can save items to Karma and get notifications via email or mobile push when an item you saved goes on sale or comes back in stock. And I love saving things in themed lists in Karma to stay organized. So, for example, I have a list of home decor bits so I know when any of it goes on sale or comes back in stock, which helped me get these purple sheets on sale. I especially love to use Karma because of how much it saves me through the selection of coupons that are automatically applied at checkout, and I was most recently able to to save $20 on my new blender thanks to Karma. This is a special feature when you use Karma on your computer, but basically Karma scans the web for any available coupon codes and automatically applies them at checkout. Plus, when I make purchases from Karma's retail partners, I'm also able to earn cash back, which definitely adds up. You can use my link to download Karma now. So yeah, like I mentioned, I am starting a new book during this vlog, and that is Beasts of a Little Land, and this is a historical fiction novel that takes place during the Korean historical, or sorry, during the Korean independence movement, um, and I'm super excited to start that one. It sounds amazing, and my other big plan for tonight is that I really, really do need to clean. Um, I've definitely, like I mentioned earlier, I've been sort of in this mental funk recently and like not in a bad place particularly but i just feel like i have been struggling a lot especially recently um with like letting myself do things that i need to do and i am struggling to like really find the words for it because it's like i'm fine when it comes to work stuff for the most part it seems but when it comes to like taking care of personal life stuff it's like i feel this like weird sense of guilt in doing any of it whether it's like things that i enjoy like taking time to read or craft or draw or whatever um things that like give me actual fulfillment or like doing things that i need to do like clean my space or you know catch up with tax stuff like these things i like put off and put off and put off because like there's just like some weird sort of like mental blocker there of like feeling guilt of doing anything or fearing fear like fear of doing these things too even though they're like not that stressful um and i yeah I, i'm really struggling to find the words for it and I've, I've been struggling because it's something that i really really want to um get better at and that's something i'm hoping maybe like instituting maybe some more routines and things will help if any of you have struggled with this and have any good advice definitely feel free to let me know and if i get any good advice i will be sure to share it back with you on a future video but yeah that's something that i've definitely been struggling with and my space over the past few weeks has just kind of become an absolute disaster but yeah that is my plan for tonight big plan is to clean and then hoping to do a lot of like admin -y things that I need to do for like Magical Girl Society and Karitathon. I can't believe I'm showing you guys this, but I'm gonna start off by doing a before so that you can see just how, just how rough it is right now. Starting off with my bed, which clearly I has not been made. Um, I actually got new bedding that I think I'm gonna switch out tonight. Um, mountain of stuffed, stuffed animals. <laughs> and then over here I have this like um, okay, this looks like a mountain of clothes. It's not. There is a basket under here that I have for like blankets and then I've just, I tend to just accumulate stuff on top of it. So really got to clean this area. 
Um, and then I have these like stacks of books that I have to find a space for. I'm probably going to just stack them over there. Um, desk is a disaster. That's its own thing. I've never properly tidied this area since I moved in. It's always been a disaster, so I really want to fix that. And we have this floor disaster down here. I did laundry and I've been living out of the laundry hamper for way too long. So yeah, we're gonna clean. We're gonna make this better. <laughs> making my dinner again I made peanut butter noodles and then I like to just add on to whole cucumbers um, I feel like most people would probably like chop the cucumbers to put on top or something but I just like there's something so satisfying to me about like biting into a cucumber <laughs> so I just eat a whole one so yeah I'm gonna go eat dinner maybe watch a show and then I'll be back to clean some more Man, I just got so distracted for like the last hour or so. Um, basically, my friend Reagan and I are planning a um, a trip to Korea that we are opening up for some of you all to come with us. Uh, and we just thought it'd be really cool. And we're working with this company called Trovo Trip that has worked with a few other like creators, and they seem really reputable. And they do like just such amazing experiences that are like very centered on like building like a community kind of environment and it just sounds amazing like i love the idea of doing like a big group trip with a bunch of people so i'm very hyped uh we sent out the first round of like surveys to people to like gauge interest and people seem genuinely like very interested in going i'll link it down below in case any of you want to take the survey i did post it in my community tab here on youtube and then also on instagram but if you'd like to come with us to Korea, um, there is still time to fill out the survey and uh, yeah, it'll probably be, I mean, it'll definitely be next year, 2023. Um, we're thinking spring, but you know, everything's up in the air for sure. But yeah, I just, I'm so beyond excited and I've just like spent the last hours like scrolling on TikTok for like career recommendations like things to do and also just looking at like some of their like example trips and stuff so yeah I'm just really excited and um hyped for this like experience so it's like 11 p.m and I am quite tired so I'm gonna stop for the evening I'm quite proud of how far I've gotten um but my goal tomorrow is to continue with everything and really work on like surface areas so like my desk and my dresser and then I just have 
um, some a few more clothes to put away and then I have to redo my bedding and once I have all that done then I'll be done but I have a floor again which is really exciting because I have not had one of those um, in a little bit look at all that glorious floor and you can now see my beautiful moomin rug love that so yeah this is this is the basket <laughs> I was talking about that holds like blankets I had to um, move some of that stuff around and deal with those clothes vacuum clean up these surfaces um, and then I will have made quite a bit of progress but I am now going to treat myself and let myself spend some time either reading a book or playing on the Nintendo Switch, one or the other. Because again, that's something that I struggle with. I struggle with like just letting myself have free time and using it um, in a way that like will actually benefit me. And like not in sort of like a productivity way, but just like in a way where I'll actually like get some sort of like joy or happiness <laughs> versus like just scrolling on TikTok, which I feel like is pretty much what I'm always doing as a way to like like spend my downtime. For some reason that doesn't fill me with guilt. I don't know. It really doesn't make any sense, but here we are. So yeah, I'm going to prioritize either playing some cozy video games or reading a book depending on how I'm feeling when I get into bed and then actually going to bed by midnight. Fingers crossed. <laughs> plans for today I'm actually getting my hair extensions removed which is why I didn't really style my hair at all yesterday because I'm about to just get them taken out um, yeah I've had hair extensions for a few months now and um, I'm traveling in like uh, a month or so um, and I honestly I just didn't want to have to deal with them uh, whilst abroad um, and so I just I figured I'd, I'd take them out so I didn't have to like think about styling them and stuff so gonna go do that um and then also like to be honest it's just like I'm a little bit too lazy for them like I think my hair if my hair was just like longer uh, it'd be a lot easier to style and then I wouldn't have to like do as much work <laughs> to get them to look good but right now I had to like I had to do a lot to get them to look good so Okay, so I'm gonna go head out do that. I did read a little bit last night. I was very proud of myself I didn't scroll on TikTok too much uh, for the first time in a while. So I read Beasts of a Little Land I started it. I've read I've only gotten the prologue so far, but it was a pretty long prologue. So um, read that I don't really have any sort of idea of what is happening in the story yet because it was just sort of like I think setting the tone for the story um so but yeah I think it'll be a really intense read for sure based on that alone recently got this um hero cosmetics rescue bomb and I've been kind of obsessed with it I have a lot of like redness it's probably like something that annoys me the most about my skin um is the redness and this stuff is so cool like literally and like I have a few different green primers but I love this stuff because it just like cancels out the redness and I don't need to put on a primer or foundation and it doesn't feel like foundation it doesn't look like foundation I mean sometimes I want to wear foundation but some days I just don't 
and I love this. <laughs> little random favorite for y'all. Yeah, I just applied a little bit of blush to bring back some life to my face, but the redness that I don't want is now gone, so very pleased. <laughs> Lawn, and my hair is already a disaster because it's so windy um, but yeah I have short hair again which is really weird for me <laughs> but um, I'm excited about it it's nice to be able to touch my scalp again to be honest like that alone is kind of very freeing but yeah it is all of a sudden like so much colder than it was I feel like when I left so I'm like freezing right now <laughs> and it's so windy I ended up deciding to grab lunch first before heading home because I was quite hungry. So I came to Winsong Bakery, which does amazing mochi donuts, mostly here for mochi donuts. So I got a couple of those for me and Kaylee, and then I got their five spice chicken for lunch, and I'm just sort of hanging out here and working. Um, and yeah, I don't know if you can hear me at all, but that's what I'm doing. Hello my loves. So it is actually quite a bit later. Um, I did not get to continue my little cleaning journey today because I had to come home and pack because I'm actually going on a cute little trip with some friends tomorrow. We are going up to Rhode Island for the weekend just for a couple of days and I'm excited. I think it'll be a really fun time. Um, but yeah, it's so weird to not have extensions in um i'm like my head just feels so light like being able to touch my scalp also very weird for me right now i will say that definitely i already miss them like i just miss how full my hair was with them so that's a little rough for me but i'm sure i will get used to it also i like i always prefer my hair when i style it personally like just that's just me um so i'm sure once i'm able to like style it myself and stuff um i'll be happier about <laughs> about the change um but it is it is definitely nice to be able to touch my scalp again but yeah it's a little bit late and i have an early morning so i'm gonna head to bed and i will catch up with you in the morning good morning my loves so i have just gotten ready is my little outfit for today um and yeah like i mentioned yesterday we are heading out for a little getaway out of the city to rhode island we're making some stops along the way so i'll bring you along very excited um i've never been to rhode island so and um, i've only in connecticut i've only really been to new haven so this will be a fun little adventure What are you most excited about? The lamp. Look at that. The base I love. It's so pretty. Snow. 
Lopez Boulevard. Oh my gosh, the signs! I don't even look at those. But I'm gonna buy some Pez. We're gonna come in like the biggest. Look at this. The movie Pez. So we were driving, and out my window I saw some very large Pez. And, oh. <laughs> and so apparently there's a whole like Pez Museum visitor center experience. So now that's where we're at. Very excited. So apparently Pez was founded in the 1920s. An and there's a whole history. Wild. Oh my gosh. You're coming home with me. Um, ended up picking up a bunch of stuff. We'll do a little bit of, haul, of a haul when we get to the um, cabin, but I'm very excited for all these like cute little things. Squall. Squall. <laughs> There's just like nothing better than the word squall. <laughs> um, so we've made it to New Haven, and so has the snow. My favorite weather. Just tried on a bunch of really cute like vintage nightgowns. I love this one, but it has a few stains on it, very sadly. But I think I'm gonna get this set because it's so sweet. I love the like baby blue. My hair is completely flat and <laughs> uh, and I think it's sunny out now, so we love a snow squall. Y'all look at these blue skies. <laughs> post squall but I bought a few things and I'm very excited from the little vintage store <laughs> Claire's cornucopia I love that <laughs> Wow, this looks really alarming on the camera. This looks like where we go to die. I mean, that's literally, we yeah, we're going to end. our cabin in the woods. <laughs> Just five years in their woodsy cabin. Come <laughs> to die. Oh, so going to soak. In the hot tub, though. In, in a hot tub, in a hot tub. Oh, oh awesome. Awesome. <laughs> I'm oh, awesome. Oh, I'm really. Did you get the pasta like you know that? Awesome. Awesome. Little buddy. Oh, awesome. <laughs> My squeal. <laughs> <laughs> We're here yeah. to our little cabin. Um, Hello. Okay, so we have made it to the cabin. I'm looking very red right now, um, but it's so cool here. <laughs> don't fool, don't judge me. <laughs> Like I mentioned, we are currently up in Rhode Island. We came up here for Kaylee's birthday, have a little road trip adventure, and just do some exploring, lots of thrift shopping. Those are kind of our big activities. And yesterday was so, so fun. Um, we just had like lots of little mini adventures, and then which I documented for the vlog. So this uh, Airbnb is a little bit funny in that like there is a hot tub, but it's literally in the main entrance of the Airbnb. So when we entered in I heard like a voice like a woman's voice and I was really freaked out I was like oh my gosh the like 
landlady's here and she's crazy because like at that point I was kind of getting spooked because it's like completely deserted like very much cabin in the woods vibes um, and I am like a city girl you know I'm used to lights and sound so I was getting like a little bit freaked out already and so then we walk in and our friend Katie is just like sitting in the hot tub and it like turned out that our that Jeremy and Katie like collaborated to or is that the word and we'll go with it basically work together to like create this big surprise for Kay Kaylee's birthday day um for katie to like fly out here and, and be here with us which was just so like that was so amazing and like such a fun night and i haven't seen katie in a while so that was really cool um but yeah it was just also really funny because <laughs> throughout the day we had been like oh no jeremy like let's stop here let's stop here and jeremy's like you know we really gotta make time we gotta get to rhode island and the whole time we're like why we have plenty of time so it was really funny just to like then look back on all of those little moments because yeah it just made them a lot funnier <laughs> with how many little diversions we kept going on anyways yesterday was just a ton of fun um and i thought i'd do a quick little haul of some of the goodies that i picked up at the various thrift stores slash one antique store so first, of course, we have the iconic Pez uh, Visitor Center in Orange, Connecticut. Um, so I got I got a Miss Piggy Pez dispenser, which I think I showed in the vlog. That's floating around somewhere. Um, and I got some Sour Pez, which I've come to learn I don't really like Pez very much, but you know what? It's fine. It was for the experience. And this like cute little magnet that I got from my mom because I always like to get her a magnet whenever I travel anywhere, even if it is just the Pez <laughs> Visitor Center. And then this like vintage um, postcard print, which I also really like. So that's my little Pez haul. But the first thrift store we went to was Savers. We love a Savers. Um, and I got this cake pin or cake pan. I've been wanting a heart-shaped cake pan for so, so long. So I was really excited when I spotted this one. And then I also picked up some pearls. I got this pearl necklace that I think I am going to like kind of doctor a little bit, like maybe add some like baby pink ribbon along the outside, um, which I think will be really cute. And then this bracelet, because I've been on the hunt for a pearl bracelet. I know pearls are really trendy right now, but they're so, so, so easy to thrift. Then I also picked up this really just like precious baby pink cardigan um and i loved the like little design of it it's like a little granny sweater it's from tommy hilfiger and i just thought it was really sweet and i will definitely be getting some wear out of this then i got this adorable little bear and it's a music box and i just thought it was so cute so i have to do a little cleaning up of her but i just thought that was so sweet another piece of jewelry i got are these green hoops which I love. I've been trying to add to my hoop collection. And then lastly, I picked up this print, which I thought was really pretty. It's like a little tea party with flowers. I think I'm gonna paint this matting or switch it out because I obviously, I'm not a dark red kind of girl. So I'm hoping I can like paint this baby pink and that I'll like it more and it'll look cute in my room. Then from Goodwill, I picked up this shirt which is very like grandma style um like kaylee even came up to me she's like i'm pretty sure my grandma like owns that shirt um but i think it's i love the embroidery it's got like this really pretty like pastel embroidery i don't even know if it's gonna show up on camera yeah there you go it's got this really pretty pastel embroidery like all along it and pearl buttons which I love. I love a pearl button. So I'm going to take out the shoulder pad, pads for sure and do some cleaning of it. Um, but I think it'll be like a really good like summer like, cover up kind of top. And yeah, I just really like it. Then we also got like a buttload of yarn. Like just so, so much yarn. Um, they have, like just put out all the yarn and Kaylee and I just like grabbed all of it because we want to do some crochet projects together. I want to teach Kaylee how to crochet. So I'm real. I was so excited about that because 
that like saved us so much money. Then I got this super sweet cottage print, which I'm hoping is showing up on camera. Um, Kaylee actually saw this one and showed it to me and I was so excited because I love, I love a little cozy cottage. So this one is another one that will go up in my room somewhere. Debating painting the frame because um, I just think I'd like it more as like a baby pink. And then I also bought this frame, <laughs> um, this like ornate gold frame because it's the perfect size for a photo card. So I think, you know, Hobie's gonna have to go in here. Then in New Haven, we went to this super, super cute antique store and they had just like an amazing selection of like vintage nightgowns and just like vintage clothes in general and just like art supplies and all this really cool stuff. It's such a cool store. Um, and this is where the snow squall hit us. So that was a little rough, but here I picked up this bag, um, which I love. I think it's so, again, so sweet. It's this beautiful baby pink and I love it. It's from like the 1950s and then it opens here and there's another little baby bag inside and I think that's so sweet. It's the perfect size to hold like my phone and like cards and a lip, lip product and I just, yeah, I love it. I'm definitely going to be getting a lot of use out of this. So very excited about that. I've been trying to like add a few more like evening bags to my collection. And I think with that, my collection is now complete. Like I'm good. And then lastly, I got this absolutely adorable set. Um, and so it's an old nightgown set. So it comes with this, which is the nightgown. And then I absolutely love the like Penoir robe that goes over it like the sleeves are perfectly puffy and I'll probably do a little try on of this when I get home but I love it so so much I'm thinking about and I know that this is people get really up up in arms when, <laughs> when people mention like altering vintage clothes but I am thinking about getting it slightly altered to have it be a little bit shorter so that then I can wear it um out and about like as an actual dress which I think will be really cute um, and it'll still look like nightwear but that's kind of the point like it's that's the trend um, but yeah I just think it's really precious and I'm very excited about it so yeah that's my little haul so far we are going off to um, other areas in Rhode Island today I think we're gonna head to Mystic which is in I think that's actually Connecticut I don't know it's, it's small small state so there's we're kind of hopping back and forth to a few different places but very excited for today and yeah that is my haul Mystic. Mystic. Old Mystic, Mystic Village. Village. You're currently at the yeah. Old Mystic Village. Oh, wait, we need to take a picture. We need to take a picture. <laughs> but we've so far um, gone to this cute little honey and oil store and like maple syrup and they had like billions of flavors of everything. So we had a sample of everything and I bought a few bits which I'm very excited for. And then we went to Christmas tree store or Christmas store. And yeah, it's just very cute here. We're just walking around on a very cold but very sunny morning. Just what it was needed Clean in the 
Why for two minutes? Because he will come back in because he's cold. Yes. I don't want to. I only get two minutes. Yeah. Two. Just two. <laughs> I should very cold. Okay. I changed my shirt too so I can mix things up. Right? Yeah, this is our family portrait. Here? Over here. Where Kaylee is. Why do you want to be next to me? <laughs> in the sun. Well, come out this way and look at the camera. Friends, go here. Do you want to do a horizontal this time? Yeah. Our golden houry in a little bit. Yeah? As the, as the golden goes houry. I like making you Yep. <laughs> I have really pretty friends. Like mom. <laughs> You're up. Is it your turn? Happy birthday. 